Hi, my name is Mary Nettleman, and I'm a librarian at the Anaheim Public Library. And today I'm going to be doing the story Harry by the Sea by Jean Zion. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything about the seashore except the hot sun. One day, when the sun was hotter than ever, Harry looked for a shady place to sit. But when he tried to get under the family's beach umbrella, it was too crowded, and the family made him leave. When he crawled into the, the children's sand castle, the walls fell in, and the children chased him away. And when he walked in the shade that a lady made, she became angry and made him stop following her. Get lost, she said. She was very annoyed. The sun was very hot, and Harry had walked a long way from the main beach. He was tired, so he sat down at the water's edge. All of a sudden, a big wave came from behind and crashed right on top of him. When the wave whirled back, Harry was left floating in the water. He was completely covered with seaweed. He didn't look like a dog anymore. He looked like something from the bottom of the sea. Suddenly, a lady saw him floating towards her. Help! Help! She shrieked. It's, it, it's a sea monster! Well, the lifeguard heard her and he blew his whistle. Everybody out, he shouted. Everybody out. Everyone ran out of the water and so did Harry. He was still covered with cold, wet seaweed. It made him feel cool and comfortable. And now he didn't mind the sun at all. He felt so good, he started running back to his family. On his way, some people saw him. It's, it's a sea serpent, one of them screamed. It's a giant sandworm, shrieked another. Harry had water in his ears and he could hardly hear them. He kept running towards the main beach. When he got there, Harry stopped and stared. Instead of just his family's umbrella, now there were hundreds of them, and they were all striped, just like his family's. Harry couldn't tell one umbrella from another. Suddenly, two beach attendants saw him. Holy smoke, one of them said. What's that? It's a bushy-backed sea slug, said the other. They whispered for a moment, then they ran. Harry went from umbrella to umbrella, but he couldn't find his family. Everyone wore sun hats and sunglasses, and everyone used suntan oil, just like his family. Harry looked and he sniffed very hard, but it was no use. He couldn't tell one family from another. Suddenly, the two beach attendants came running back, carrying a trash basket. They ran towards Harry. Stand back, one of them said to the crowd. We're going to catch it and take it to the aquarium, said the other. Then they tiptoed right up behind Harry and raised the trash basket over his head. Harry didn't know the beach attendants were behind him. He was listening to something. He thought he heard somebody calling his name. There it was again. Harry, Harry, Harry. Now Harry was sure. He didn't wait another second. And just as the basket came down, he ran. He ran right out from underneath the basket. It happened so fast, the beach attendants just stood there with their mouths open. As he reached, raced through the crowd, some people screamed, some people ran, and some people did both. But Harry paid no attention. He kept on running across the beach. And when he got to the hot dog stand, he stopped and he barked happily. Behind the counter, the hot dog man was shouting. It was his voice that Harry had heard. But Harry still had water in his ears and he couldn't hear very well. The man wasn't shouting, Harry, Harry, Harry. He was shouting, Harry, 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 get them while they're hot. Harry still thought the man was calling his name and he barked and jumped with joy and he jumped so much that suddenly the seaweed fell off. When the crowd saw that Harry was a dog, they gasped. They could hardly believe their eyes. And all at once, Harry began to jump higher than ever. He saw the children, and they were running right towards him. Oh, Harry, they cried. We heard you bark. We've been looking all over for you. Harry was so happy, he did a little dance. The hot dog man was very grateful to Harry for bringing the crowd to his stand. He sold all the hot dogs he had and gave Harry a free hamburger. The lady who had told Harry to get lost came along and bought, bought him a cold drink. You're no sea monster, she said. You're just a lost hot dog. Everybody laughed, except the children. He's not lost, one of them said. He's Harry, and he's ours. Then they hurried off to join the rest of the family. The next time Harry's family went to the beach, they bought a new umbrella. Harry liked this one very much. It was white with polka dots, and no matter how crowded the beach became, it was easy to find. But best of all, it was big, and when the sun got really hot, there was room underneath for them all. The end.